Welcome back to the Movie Recaps Corner. We all hate school bullies, but just imagine what happens when the most bullied school kid ends up becoming a highly trained CIA operative. Well, today we are going to look at the movie Central Intelligence, featuring Kevin Hart and Dwayne Johnson. The movie starts in the year 1966. At Central High School, a student called Robbie is dancing and singing in the shower. A group of bullies led by Trevor come in and start mocking him since he is overweight and dorky. The bullies carry Robbie and slide him across the floor butt naked. He slides across the assembly where the star athlete named Calvin is being honored. They all laugh at Robbie except the top athlete Calvin and his girlfriend Maggie who gives him a jacket. Robbie runs out totally humiliated. Now let's jump to 20 years later. Calvin is married to his high school sweetheart Maggie but their marriage has been deteriorating. Calvin feels that his life peaked at high school and his life is now just going downhill. Calvin works as a forensic accountant. He hates his job and his former assistant has just got promoted above him. He receives a Facebook invitation to their high school reunion, but he declines. He then receives a friend request from someone called Bob Stone. Bob claims that he is actually Robbie and invites Calvin out for a drink. Later that night, Calvin walks into the bar and is surprised to see Robbie. He has completely transformed from being fat and overweight into being a muscular guy. As the two have their drinks, a confrontation occurs and Robbie asks the men to apologize to Calvin. When one of the goons attempts to threaten them with a gun, Robbie tells them that he really hates bullies. He then starts attacking them and defeats them within no time as Calvin watches in shock. Calvin and Robbie leave the bar and head over to their old high school. They see trophies that Calvin won as an athlete. However, Robbie only has memories of how he was bullied for being fat and overweight. They then walk to Calvin's house where Robbie says that he needs Calvin to help him with some work involving his area of work. However, they come across some files with satellite codes and a bidding war, which makes Robbie to spill beer on the laptop to prevent him from seeing more. Robbie then asks to sleep over and Calvin reluctantly allows him to sleep on the couch. The following morning, a group of CIA agents led by Pamela Harris shows up at Calvin's door. They ask for Robbie and Calvin tells them he is sleeping on the couch. However, they do not find him and they warn Calvin that Robbie is wanted for murder and conspiracy to commit treason. The CIA agents then follow Calvin to work to see whether Robbie will make contact with him. Calvin is shocked to find Robbie in his office. Robbie reveals to him that he is working for the CIA and that the people looking for him want the satellite codes and are ready to kill for them. Calvin runs out to alert everyone about Robbie, and the agents run up to shoot at Robbie. However, Robbie easily overpowers the agents and effortlessly incapacitates most of them. He then wheels Calvin away in a mail cut and bursts out of a window. Robbie takes Calvin to a safe spot to remove the GPS tracker from the car. He explains to Calvin that he has been set up since his partner Phil was killed in an elevator and he was framed. He believes someone with the codename Black Badger is the one looking for the satellite codes to do something sinister. As they talk, an assassin shows up on a motorcycle. Robbie knocks off the guy. Calvin takes the motorcycle and ditches Bob. Calvin and Robbie meet later and go to the office of someone who can help them. Unfortunately, this person ends up being Trevor the bully who was responsible for sliding him across the floor but naked during their school days. Trevor gets them what they needed and apologizes for how they traumatized Robbie during their high school days. He says that he has found religion and has become a better person. However, he quickly takes the apologies back as he was faking it and he still thinks little of Robbie. As they leave the office, CIA agent Harris calls Calvin and tells him to deliver Robbie to them or else the CIA will harm Calvin's wife, Maggie. As Calvin plans on turning Robbie in, Robbie says that Calvin was always his friend since he never bullied him in school. However, it is too late as the agents arrive and apprehend them. Calvin and Robbie are detained in the CIA headquarters and the agents start to torture Robbie. On the other hand, Calvin feels regret for turning his friend in and fights back. He rescues Robbie and they manage to run away. Calvin apologizes and says that he is now willing to offer Robbie full support. The two learn the location of the gangsters who want to buy the satellite codes, and they steal a plane and fly to the spot. Robbie heads into the buy alone and leaves Calvin outside. Calvin spots the CIA agent Harris entering, which makes him think she is the Black Badger, 
the code for the person they believe is looking for the codes. Calvin immediately enters the buy to warn Robbie and finds him telling the buyer that he is the one called Black Badger. Robbie shoots at Calvin, but he only grazes his neck. The real Black Badger emerges to make the deal. It is Phil, Robbie's old partner, who had faked his death and framed Robbie. As Robbie and Phil argue, Harris arrives with other CIA agents and starts shooting at the buyer and his goons. Everyone scampers away. Calvin ends up swiping the satellite codes. The next scene shows the three on a small bridge with Calvin having the gun in his hands. He shoots Robbie in the leg and holds the gun on Phil. When a confrontation occurs, Rob rips out Phil's throat and pushes him into the river. He then apologizes to Calvin for shooting him in the neck earlier and says he wanted to save him by convincing others that he has killed him. Calvin and Robbie hand the satellite codes to Harris, who thanks them for their help. Robbie's name is cleared, and Harris gives them a helicopter as a ride to the reunion. The two arrive and meet Calvin's wife Maggie. Calvin promises to be a better husband and make things work between them. The three enter the union and have a great time. Robbie is announced as the new prom king. Trevor and his buddies go up to make fun of Rob and bully him like they used to do during their high school days. However, Robbie stands up for himself and gives Trevor a punch that he's had coming for 20 years. Robbie goes on stage and gives an encouraging speech about accepting other people as they are. He says he has come to accept himself and thanks Calvin for always standing by him. He then takes his clothes off to show that he is no longer ashamed of himself. Months later, Maggie is pregnant with Calvin's first kid. It is also revealed that Calvin now works for the CIA. Robbie arrives to pick Calvin up and hang out. He gives Calvin back the jacket he has given him 20 years earlier when he has been thrown across the floor butt naked in school. The movie comes to an end as the two head off. That is the end of today's recap. Kindly support us by subscribing to the channel.